we here in Anchorage are here in solidarity with the Occupy Wall Street movement which is going on all over the country and apparently now all over the world. Uh, solidarity is all of us standing together to say enough is enough and that we need economic justice in this country. Uh, the politicians that bailed out the banks school. Uh, we do not have a representative democracy in this country. What we in fact have is election law written by Democrats and Republicans for their own benefit. And those laws are upheld by judges who are appointed by Democrats and Republicans. Try getting on the ballot if you're not a Democrat or a Republican. To see what happens. You won't get on the ballot. You don't have ballot access. America, and that's why I say we don't have representative democracy in this country. That's why we have a corrupt system that bails out the wealthy people and lets the poor people pay the price. And that's why you hear the thing about uh, privatizing the profits and socializing the risk. And that's why we are where we are today, and that's why uh, Congress hasn't declared war since World War II. It's because the Democrats and Republicans in Congress are a bunch of cowards who cannot stand up and say that we are going to protect the balance of power, the separation of powers in this country, and that we take an oath to uphold the United States Constitution, and that if we do not clear war, then we ought not be at war, and we ought not fund war, no matter where it is on this planet. President Obama is a war criminal. He just went into Uganda, and Congress didn't say we declare war on, on, the, on the army that's occupying or, or operating in Uganda. No. President Obama just decided he's going to go do it. Well, I tell you what, uh, if we don't have some people that are going to say in Congress that keep the presidential imperial powers in check, we will have a president who will act like Adolf Hitler and will go to war no matter where in the, in the world. Thank God that Sarah Palin decided not to run for president because she would definitely drop the bomb on Tehran and start World War III. And Congress would sit there with their thumb up their proverbial behind and it would be just fine with them because they, again, are cowards who do not take their oath of office seriously to say that only Congress can declare war. It says right there in the Constitution, that's supposed to be the law of the land, but we don't have that. Instead, we have, we have a bunch of Congress people that are bought and paid for by corporations and the rich, and, 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 a, and a system of election law that does not allow uh, other people who are not Democrats or Republicans to get on the ballot so that people have real choices. I had the Assistant Attorney General of the state of our, uh, Alaska argue that I couldn't get on the ballot, for instance, because she said that uh, the voters would be confused. I wonder if the voters are confused when they go to the grocery store and they have 50 choices of cereal. They know what they want to buy. But the way the Republicans and Democrats have, have uh, monopolized uh, our uh, election law in this country, they want it so that you only have a choice between Tweedledum and Tweedledee. The same, as, as one would put it, two branches of the same organized crime family. Well, that's the state of America, and we're here in solidarity with you. And uh, we're doing the best we can here in Anchorage, and we will prevail because because it's the history of humankind that we rise up against oppression and that we head towards the light. It's a struggle that's been going on since the dawn of time. Abraham Lincoln once said, uh, in closing, Abraham Lincoln said that the struggle of mankind has been going on since the dawn of time. It's it's the is, is the, 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 the argument between the divine right of kings versus the common rights of man. Okay, we're the commoners.